Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of multiplying by a fraction. This is standard 6.3b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 8 of the 2022 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got a simple statement about 96 multiplied by 11 eighths. So I mean, here's the expression. 96 divided by, or multiplied by, 11 eighths. But we just need to know whether it's less than, equal to, or greater than 96. Now you might be thinking, well, anytime you multiply a number, you always get, uh, the product is always bigger. Well, not necessarily. So if I were to take 6 and multiply it by 2, well, that's pretty easy. My product 12 is going to be larger than 6. But what if I were to take my 6 and multiply it by a fraction? Like, let's say, 1 half. Well, half of 6 is going to get 3. You notice how my product is smaller than my factor. So what's the difference? Well, the difference is the second factor, right? If the second factor is greater than 1, then it's going to be larger or greater. But sometimes you're going to find a second factor that is less than 1. It's a fraction, and that means it's going to be smaller or less than. So in this case, I've got my 96 times 11 eighths. So multiplying it by 11 eighths is this second factor greater than or less than 1. Well, 11 eighths, is it greater than or less than 1? Well, it's an improper fraction. Let's go ahead and make this into a mixed number, right? We're going to divide 8 up into 11, right? That's going to be 1 and 3 eighths. So definitely greater than 1. We also could have just told you that because it was an improper fraction. If the numerator is larger than the denominator, that means it's greater than 1 because 8 eighths, right, is equal to 1. So anything greater than 8 eighths is going to be greater than 1. So if I multiply by something greater than 1, 11 eighths is greater than 1, then it stands to reason that my product is going to be greater than my first factor. Let's just double check that. Okay, so 96 times 11 eighths. It's going to be quite a bit of work, but we can do it. Watch this. 96 times 11 eighths. If you want to multiply a fraction, you need to make them both fraction. Any whole number can be turned into a fraction by just putting it over 1. So now I need uh, 96 times 11 over 8. All right, so let's see what 96 times 11 is going to be. It's going to be pretty easy. It's going to be 96, and then a 0, and then 96. So just got to add them up. That's 6, 15, 10, 56. All right, so that's 10, 56 divided by 8. All right, so I just need to divide. Let's divide that 8 into 10, 56. What am I going to get there? So 8 into 1056 goes in once. 25, just bring down one number at a time. 3 times 24. Look at that, it's going to go in evenly. 2. All right, it's so 132, so that equals 132. So I multiplied 96 by... Uh, 11 eighths, and I ended up getting 132. So it definitely is bigger because I multiplied by something that is greater than 1. 11 eighths is greater than 1. So the product, 132, is less than 11 eighths. No, much greater. The product is greater than 96. Yep. The product is between 11 eighths and 96. Nope. Product is equal. No, it's 132. So when you multiply, uh, by a factor greater than 1, your product is going to be greater than the first factor, g.